Good evening, ladies and gents. This is the Nerds of Human, and welcome back to our Medieval 2 Rebels campaign. And you join us outside Tekutepec, which you think I might have tried to pronounce before the recording here, but I, alas, have not. Yes, we have Manic and his horde of merry men ready to take one more of the Aztec settlements. You can see that Tochlan over here is already under siege. Yes, yet more of our lads are ready to take that. Indeed, down south, Kuragua is fairly safe these days. And we're sending what forces we do have to go and swing by the last Aztec city down in the south here. Now, obviously the English will turn up one day, so I am starting to send a few of my odd generals. Most of them appear around this part of the world, of course. Yes, I'm just going to send them over to this coast over here, because I'm pretty certain that's where the English turn up around, I think it's 1060, but maybe it's 50 to 60, I can't quite recall. Nonetheless, we will need to make sure we're ready for them. Luckily, the Spanish dealt with last time, we'll hopefully have plenty of time to prepare ourselves. Indeed, if we can take out all of these lads in the meantime, we'll be in a very good position indeed. So yes, there are a few battles I've got here ready to go. Um, very little has happened since the last episode ended. Really, all I've done is just march my armies off to their next encounter. But I didn't want to miss out on some of the fun battles. So uh, here we are then. We're ready, shaping up against, well, a big pile of fairly specialist troops here. But I think we'll be okay. Some of the more experienced Eagle Warriors come to join us. And as you might be able to see, I've organised these armies a little bit more into uh, two main forces and some reinforcements. Uh, over here, I've got myself some of the Conquistadors. I did update... Oh, I updated the um, the unit card here, but not the actual info card. Oh, well. Either way, either way, not a problem, eh? We've got the Conquistadors on our side now. And I've got a couple of those in each of these armies. They should be quite good fun. We'll head into Tinnatishlan before too long. The only thing to bear in mind here is that there are an awful lot of forces around a lot of very tightly placed cities, which does mean... Yes, the chance of reinforcements are very high indeed. So I suspect suspect we'll use one of these two armies to put this under siege. And one of them, yes, to perhaps just move a little bit further along. There we go. There's a nice full stack who is inevitably going to get in our way. So we'll just go and scrap to that lad. You, sir, go and yeah, get into that position and put the city under siege. Marvellous news. Now, these are reinforcement stacks of various sorts. Don't think I need to worry about them too much, but I wouldn't mind. Hmm, can't actually get there necessarily. Yeah, I'll just leave them hanging around at the back for now. That is not a problem. Over here, I'm just going to block this little pass here. Really, it's the only way into Veracruz. I didn't realise yeah, quite how defendable this position here is, but uh, yes, it's looking very strong indeed. So we we'll have to work our way around, and eventually we'll pick the right time to go and deal with all this nonsense. Unfortunately, Medieval 2, you don't actually get any spies as the Rebels, so our unit spies aren't going to do very well in this kind of a region. We can always grab these 18 and give it a go, see how far they get. But yes, as you can see, yet yeah, more and more Aztec armies. So we'll have to be careful with that. But these two lads should be at war, so in time we might find that they do whittle each other down. So, let's start ourselves off. We've got ourselves a few battles to get going with here. It's going to be a long, long turn, this, as we rattle through all of these troops. This one, though, okay. A uh, fair few split-up forces. They might well decide to run, but we'll see how they go. Let's head in. As you can probably imagine, the first army is getting themselves picked off very quickly indeed. One unit of Eagle Warriors very much soon being chopped down by our arrows, and that is definitely the correct verb for that sentence. Nonetheless, we will just make sure we get a few men into the back and into the forests behind, just to be sure that we can later catch anyone who decides to flee. So we'll just go and plonk those chaps over there, and I guess we'll get ready for the next attack. Indeed, they're coming in, but they're coming in in separate waves of attack, which means that we should hopefully, with any luck, be able to take these guys out pretty darn swiftly. We'll start to get some of these lads around the side. That would be marvellous. And hopefully we'll take them out before long. We've got some lads at the back here waiting to catch any reinforcements who maybe think about fleeing. And yeah, we'll just make sure they're all gone. You guys charge. I just ruined the charge and oh gosh and darn. Anyway, it's all fine. We'll just start piling a few more men. Get into the back of them and hopefully route them before those other lads get here. But this is quite a nice way really picking off lots of forces. These are all together in one army. 
It could be an interesting little affair, but uh, in the current circumstances, no. No, I think we've got them in a pretty solid, solid death stance over here. So we'll just send in the last few men. That's fine. They're starting to rout. That's fine by me. And with that, yeah, all of our men can just start turning around. Start hitting all of them. There we go. A big slap on the back. That's a good old king. He's now dead. And with that, we should hopefully be able to catch the reinforcements as they run away. Only a handful get away then. In the end, they have themselves 41 men to defend the city. I say that, I think there is still some other army hanging out around the outside. But on the whole, we've done a pretty darn effective job. Yeah, the city is now empty. And this guy standing on the wrong side of the walls. So isn't that just absolutely marvellous? Another great day for Manic. And we got in there before this reinforcement army has got around. I'm not sure, can they get around that mountain there? There's lots of very awkward passes around there. Yes, you can just about make it in that direction. Isn't that absolutely marvellous? Manic has now gained extra loyalty to the cause of anarchy. Well, I would say he really should be. He's gained himself up to three dread, six on command. As loyal as loyal can be, and well, we don't need to worry about being pious. But he is, you know, I would say a pretty efficient general as they go. Okay, on to the next affair, and I think um, I think we should probably go to this one over here, which is a pretty darn hefty one. Which army do I want to use? Hmm, 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 hmm. Let's go with this one over here. We're going to smash into this army. They want to do it because they're utter fools, and we'll slaughter them in the field. Let's go. This should be a fairly simple battle, at least when the reinforcements turn up. But until then, we might well lose a fair few men. Sadly, they just got that javelin off. That's a nice time to pause, isn't it? Yeah, they just about managed to get that javelin off before we hit them. But I reckon a good charge or two should pay pave to those lads. Of course, that's exactly what these eagle warriors should be used for. And a nice charge is what we want to see. Back in position. And let's start hitting these chaps as they run into us. See if we can hit them with as much power as possible. Okay, we are just about wide enough to do this. That's good for us. And you just charge into them as well. What I'd like to do. Yeah, go to priests. You are... You might as well get around the side, actually. You try and do that. Javelins, you hit it to that position. We have ourselves more Kyoto Priest in the middle. That's the general. Let's just plug that gap. It's a little bit on the weak side over there. And hopefully, hopefully we will be okay. But we do have, yeah, our lads don't really have much defence. They're obviously, as I say, much more of a charging kind of unit. Kyoto Priest, you need to hold that position. Just hold there. They have chant. I forgot about the chant. Anyway, either way, we are now getting into the rear of these lads. At least on one flank. And, oh yeah, Eagle Warriors in the back there. Fine. Let's just get these coaties all the way around. That's probably for the best. I feel like we are not doing so hot here. But actually, they've lost a lot more than us. So that is encouraging. That's probably because he's got those reinforcements. And he probably isn't counting that in the numbers. So yes, let's just charge him. These guys are charging at us. But we might as well try and wrap up one side of the battlefield. Unfortunately, I do find on them, America, is that they a lot of units will hold a long, long time. They seem to have good morale, even if their weapons and things aren't exactly of the highest quality. Uh, I think we'll be okay. Let's Should we start on fire arrows? It might be a good idea to start on fire, just to see if we can peek things in our direction. So we're doing okay. The reinforcements are... Oh. Okay, I'm set to control the reinforcements, which isn't necessarily the best thing, but it is what it is. Right. Javelins to start running in because honestly, I don't think they normally do all that much when they stand back there. So we're just going to see what we can do, really. It's going to be a bit of a slug, but hopefully, in time, we'd have whittled them down. Our leader's gone! By Jove! That's a little bit of a shame. Um, hopefully, it won't cause a big break, but it might do. You never really know with Rebel Generals how much of an effect it has. These guys don't actually. Yeah, don't actually do that. Just shoot them shoot them down. That'd be absolutely fine. They're right in front of you, so that should be a simple enough job. Shoot into them. Break them. Break them. Break them. They're not going to break, though, unfortunately. Yeah, we, we've we done good damage, and I feel like we're doing worse than we are, but we're doing fine. It's just going to be a pretty much 50-50 in terms of kills, I suspect. It's a bit closer, my liking. 
Part of the reason this looks like it's going better than it is is because we have these five years of archers at the back who obviously haven't yet taken hit, but pretty much everyone else is dead. So yeah, the reinforcements are starting to, to come in, aren't they? Indeed they are. Okay, we better get them onto the battlefield just to make sure... Yeah, they are on the battlefield. Good. Good, good, good. Right, well, we'll probably just pick a position back here. I won't rush them in. I don't think it's worth it. Might be worth grabbing these archers now, actually. Missiles. Uh, missiles, do you want to run? I suspect you should probably run. Yeah, I would say get out of there, my good sirs. Bring yourself over to those reinforcements. We'll make use of you over there instead. You are now... I was going to say you're a sacrifice, but you've instantly routed, as per always. Can you just charge into them on guard mode? <laughs> and we'll at least let some of these lads retreat. At this point, it is a tactical withdrawal, or a tactical retreat, I should say, because we were retreating towards our reinforcements, who I didn't realise I had set on my own personal control. I would have rather they came in, actually, because their rival would have just won us the battle. But hey-ho, as some of them... Uh, get back into the battle here. We'll just shoot in and cause them a few problems. These eager warriors decide to fight for a little moment, but not forever, unfortunately. These eager warriors can join the battle, but with the reinforcements coming into play, I think it'll be absolutely fine. Let's see how they get on once, uh, yeah, once these lands will arrive. In they come then, and our archers are now shooting them from the back, or at least they were a moment ago. They seem to just about be falling out of range. They've broken immediately, which is somewhat irritating, actually. I don't actually want them to break. I want them to fight and get themselves slaughtered. But it's a broken once we've got some lads into the rear. In fact, you might as well start heading out to the flanks to do just that kind of a job. Marvellous stuff. To speak this up as they approach, and we'll get the charges on. Charge into them, my good sirs. Charge into the bridge once more. Onto the bridge. The bridge is probably over here, to be honest, lads. So maybe start to taking them on and at this point they're pretty much just breaking that's kind of the point of these lads get on top they're now broken marvelous stuff and a cup of tea to celebrate and with that one major army is out of the way albeit there is a second one to still take on this one does have a general so we need to be a little bit careful it does look like from first glance that he has far inferior troops though to the army we just took on I really wouldn't have liked that army in the hands of a full general. But let's do a bit of merging. Yeah, we don't have very many of these lads left, do we? No, we don't. And we'll do a bit of merging here as well. But I suspect once we get these two armies together, they'll probably be absolutely fine. So grab all of our lovely, lovely eagles, blend them, merge the last few of them, try and share the experience, fail miserably, <laughs> lose it to the sands of time no that's fine and any more coyotes a few coyotes are around we did lose a fair few of them in that battle sadly let's grab what good infantry there is into one force and from there we can probably just have ourselves a few of the archers and some dock soldiers to bolster it up fine 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 okay we're looking pretty good over here We'll soon head back over to finish off this force. We'll grab ourselves some javelin men just to finish it up. And one more dog. One more dog. So I suspect he can be okay to take on that. Yes, lots of peasants. We should be absolutely a-okay. But just to be sure, we'll send in we'll send in that full stack of archers to help out. That'll be absolutely marvellous. And you guys can just hang out at the back. Okay, we'll get on with that one in time as well. But there are still yet a few more nice sizable battles to take care of. And this one, oof. Oh, look at that. We haven't seen these lads yet. How delightful. Um, yeah, a huge amount of experience in all of these chats. But we do have some conquistadors. And, well, this isn't really the trash I was hoping to test them out on just to give them a good run out. They've uh, got to take on some proper units here. But it'll be nice to finally have some cavalry back once again so let's head in let's take on this army it's a fairly experienced army decent it's a decent general um it seems does it, aren't there stars here they're my stars that makes much more sense yes i am indeed a very very tough general indeed let's head into battle they have us a bit of a hill advantage but uh yeah they seem to be pulling back for a moment perhaps slightly perturbed by the horsemen trying to get around their flank and indeed they will succeed in getting around their flank and this is medieval 2 so i do need a good clear path to charge so i'm just going to uh, get myself onto that little hill there as for these chaps they are just a few handfuls of archers 
who have been brutally murdered. No worries about any of them. Just <laughs> these guys must be absolutely bricking it. They've got those conquistadors waiting for them. Although maybe they haven't faced the full brutality of the conquistadors just yet. I don't really know. Anyhow, it tells a nice little hillet for them to attack. And I think, I think, I think, I think it's time to get some of these guys into the rear. And as I say that, we should probably start charging. Now, these aren't really what the Zekatekis Raiders should be used for, but I don't really have much choice on this particular occasion. I don't have any proper infantry um, or any non Zekatekis Raiders to do actually deal the damage that I'm looking for. So in come the Conquistadors! Smashy smashy! And pull out of there immediately. We've, yes, the Silver Surfers have immediately killed their general and that should be absolutely glorious. Lost a couple of them just in the charge there but in general that's hopefully done a huge amount of damage. Uh, Apache and Braves will hopefully, hopefully charge in before too long and okay these guys the eager warriors charging us. Can we just get away from them for a moment? That would be marvellous. They're actually not much slower than us, which is a little bit irritating, but it is what it is, I suppose. Right, let's get our cav out of there for a moment. You guys turn around, just yeah, charge into them. You guys, oh yeah. Oh, I love the maneuverability. Let's get some cavalry back into these lads and start melting them. And before my general dies, I really, 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 really do need to get some of these Apache and Braves into the fray. But the cavalry charges, if they don't get caught on their way, will hopefully hit them in the back and cause them a lot of problems. Just must remember, it's not Rome. They do need a good setup. Yeah, the cavalry in the rear is definitely doing some heavy work on them now. Alongside the Apache and Braves making the second charge. Okay, good, good, good. I held back those infantrymen and they are starting to make a good difference lovely stuff at this point they are falling apart i think the uh cavalry charges have pretty much won us the day a bit earlier than we normally would because yes normally normally we would see an awful lot of problems don't break now game three hours later obviously i've had to redo the battle entirely but i've still done a fairly efficient job sadly it do seem to have lost slightly more conquistadors although i guess when it broke last time, I wasn't quite at the end of the battle, so maybe I would have lost them anyway. Either way, either way, we have victory. And this time, we should have some units to chase them down. So, whilst they are not the heaviest, or so they are the heaviest, well, they're not the quickest of cavalry, they should at least be able to run them all down. So, let's take them out, and hopefully, we'll have the whole army cleared out. And with that, their big reinforcement army is defeated, and perhaps swim round to the city very very soon indeed i will get these reinforcements in behind just in case we need it this army should be absolutely fine by itself albeit they do have themselves some high experience fine 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 well we still have another battle over here and we have ourselves another siege so yes quite a lot of little ones the siege should be fairly simple so let's hop into there a clear enough victory then i'm not too worried about a few losses in we go, sack the town, and at least well, we have ourselves a nice big bucket of money to go and uh, get the new army, get the new army indeed. So with this, we pretty much just have one final battle for the end turn, and it's heading back over in this part of the world. So he doesn't actually want to do it. Well, that's a shame because we're going to hunt you down anyway. So good old Kinatsin of Otumba. You are going to go down now. He's got himself three experience. Marks of war, proper morals, da 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 da. Nothing too interesting, but four dread starts to become something to worry about. So we'll just have to bear that in mind slightly. But I'd say with mostly peasants, yeah, none of those priest units either. We are looking in fairly good shape here. A good charge or two. We should have the battle won. It's just the general we'd be careful about. Let's hit him. Of course, our reinforcement army is the army of archers. We'll send them on to shootout stance. Maybe they'll turn up one day. They probably won't, to be honest, because, well, I wasn't really expecting them to face us on front on. Normally, when they withdraw originally, they end up standing in the corner of the battlefield and wait for you to come to them. But no, they still fancy their chances. And, you know, they have a chance, but it mostly revolves around that general of theirs. So I suspect it's probably a good idea to get all of my arrows to aim on him 
as soon as he's available, but we might just need to get rid of one or two of these spear throwers in the meantime. So, as always, we'll just uh, yeah lay a load of fire on them as the battle begins and just make sure we charge into these lads if they're going to throw a few javelins. Make sure we clear them out. Just a good hit on them. Hopefully that general will soon be in range. Pull ourselves back, my good sirs. Yep, and into the general. Into the general with all of those arrows. We'll back your position. Pause the game to get our charges in. That will be absolutely marvellous. So, they will... Well, we have the stronger troops. We definitely have the stronger troops, but... They could do us some damage just for sheer numbers. We are rebels. We do sometimes struggle to hold on to our morale. So, in fact, you, my good sirs, you go about there and get your chant on. My good sirs, you lads, just head into that battle. Jagger warriors head over there. Javelins head into the flanks. You guys go on to the chant of doom. And you chaps might as well start a little flanking mini. That would be absolutely marvellous. So my archers are annoyingly... On skirmish, which I forgot about. Slightly irritating. And these chaps just start getting into the flanks. That should be what we want to see. Peasants getting around our side, but they're only peasants. will probably be absolutely fine. My missiles should all be landing hits on the bodyguard if things are going the way I want them to. And how are we doing? It's hard to know, really. 25% killed. Well, that's something. They do have some eager warriors up at the front here, though, so we need to be at least a little bit careful. Looks like the centre is kind of going our way. This flank certainly looks very strong indeed. You lads, try and head round onto the flank. Cody Priest has done their job on this flank. They've cleared off those peasants. Minimal losses. And are my archers in yet? Are oh, they miles away? Can you please just... Does that mean you run? Please just run. That would be absolutely perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah, most of them are broken at this point, which is kind of what I want to see. I just want to make sure these guys get around the flank. Hopefully, hopefully that means we'll trap this general in good time. Everyone get on top of that general. Where is he behind a tree? I can't see him. There he is. He's behind a tree. And at this point, we've pretty much cleared them out. Off the chance and onto the charge. That's absolutely grand. Yeah, they're going to turn up too late as I thought they may well do. But, 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 we do seem to be largely... Yeah, these kind of priests are getting themselves absolutely mauled at this point. Just to start getting everyone running in to come and support them. There's just a couple of them who need to go on top of this bodyguard because he's not quite dead yet. He's not dead yet, my good sir. He's not yet dead. Um, they are putting themselves back together, which is not surprising, but a little bit irritating. You did. Yep, he's gone. That's the general gone. Good news indeed. And that will break what's left of them, he thinks. Yep, that seems to have done the job. Just a few of them regrouping here or there. These lads will probably soon realise that they should be running away. Indeed, they should. Sadly, a fair few got away because our reinforcements weren't in behind them. Nonetheless, nonetheless, the damage is fairly significant. 900 losses to 300 of ours. That will do for now, I suppose. The general's dead. That's the main thing. Europe is afire with tales from the New World. Rumours of cities made of gold and people covered in jewels draw others to this strange new land. Even now, foreign fleets make their way across the sea. Yes, so that's how uh, England turned up at 60, maybe 50. 41! 41! Ha! Ha! Um... Okay, I'm assuming that was down properly in that southeast corner. But uh, anyhow, we can we can deal with them in time. <laughs> please, 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 please let us get to some of our lads over here in due time, please. So we'll get some of these lads into the city. That's not really what we want them there for, but we do at least want someone over here to challenge them when they arrive. This army over here is now safe enough to start. No, that's not what I want. To start trudging off in that direction. And as you can see, we are now stacking up lots of armies, sending them off in this direction. So in time, we should be absolutely fine. And a few units to Altenha in the meantime. So as you might have noticed, we do have the French up here. Just as well, um, in many ways, that this army arrived when they did because Alabama is completely empty. Now it's not completely empty. And if they want to attack us, at least there's a full stack in there. Looks like, though, we will need to go and send a full army over here instead. 
Where can they get to? About there. Okay. So, somewhere around this point in the trees, we probably want to give ourselves a watchtower just to make sure the gap in between is all nice and visible. So, we're going to send that full stack over there. That should be absolutely fine. And, well, we need to get more and more forces over this part of the world. I think they are arriving. I, um, I haven't necessarily got any more stacks, but there are a few troops on their way over here. And I'll just send what's left over in that town over there. So, as I said, we are going to have to try and defend eventually. They're just trying to get to whatever city is really weak. So it might be that we just need to hang out on the river here and block their path, which is indeed, well, minus one unit, what we're going to do over there. We'll continue to build watchtowers to try and spot their boats as they arrive. But um, yes, we'll, they'll just turn up when and where they want to turn up, I suppose. They have now given up on coming to this part of the world, but I will, uh, for the time being, at least lay down a few towers, because I do like having the towers there. And we might as well start to send all of these over in this direction. Might as well just stalk the French for the time being. Hang out in the forest, just check out what it is that they want to do. Isn't that just marvellous? So, quite a few towns ready to upgrade. Probably worth doing that at this point, since we do actually have money. I do keep on massively reinvesting everything, so it might be that we just run out before too long anyway. Just kind of adding everything onto the list. And construction report, as you can see, I am building a lot of stuff and things. So, my forces melt away. Oh, I think that was just one of my scouts. One of my scouts, those uh, 18 archers or so that I sent to go and have a little look -see in this part of the world. Suffice to say, they are now dead so um we need to deal with that one in time okay there are still this town over here seems to have a huge amount of forces back in it because every time we take on another army there seems to be another that shows up which is a little bit irritating and we are somewhat running out of infantry at this point we have to start using the trash but i guess if we put them on to hold position mode they might just be able to do what we need them to. So we'll grab that for now, a few archers, just to finish this off. And where do we want to go? Probably not over there, actually. We'll just stand next to them with these archers in behind and these lads in the forest. We'll let them, well, we'll give them the option of coming to us. Meanwhile, of course, this army over here is going to continue marching off in this general direction. I feel like we need to just give them a little bit of help. So, we're going to send Manic over here. We'll give ourselves another watchtower. And indeed, they do have some more troops. But those might just be the lads who have run off last time. We shall see about all of that. This army, meanwhile, can move over in this direction to reinforce that little region over there. And we are just going to give ourselves one final, final force over in this part of the world. That's lots and lots and lots of Jaguars. And I think that's plenty enough, to be honest to start moving on probably they can also help come in that kind of a direction i mean we'll just send one unit over there just in case someone wants to stroll in and uh, get in our way on the note of being in our way looks like we have ourselves a good old aztec friend now what do you have my sir you're the prince drill master oh, that's what i like to see on my enemies one dread but honestly nothing much to worry about. We're going to do this at night because dear Sekinethos the Raffle, oh that's how he likes to do it, a brave, handsome alcoholic driven by rage and my damn can he tell a good tale indeed. He will build walls out of these men because he's good at the walls. That was maybe a step too far. Anyway, this land will certainly sort them on the battlefield. Let's head in. Meet my beautiful bodyguard who's donned himself in full Western European armour and um then had the rest of his bodyguard strolling around like this. This is what my bodyguards like to do, by the way. None of them, even the Spanish lads, they dress in native tongue now. They dress in native tongue. That's um, I'm just gonna say that's a beautiful turn of phrase. So we're going to stick with that. Now, probably should have looked at the battlefield a little bit more, but hey ho, let's just grab all of our generals, run them up to the hill up here. Grab all of these lads, do the same kind of thing. They're going to beat us to the hill. 
or certainly it looks like these units will, these archers will. We'll just charge, honestly. It's absolutely fine. Charge at those lads. Get all the archers into some sort of supporting position back here. That will be absolutely lovely. Get the flaming arrows off and bring the trash somewhere around. Just protect this flank or something like that. Let me absolutely marvel this. Just charge in like absolute madmen. No formation. No nothing. We want the hill. We're going to shove you until you get off. And the Essex archers, by the way, much better than my archers. My uh, basic lads have like no defence at all. These do have some shield of five there. Surprising, looks surprisingly strong considering, yes, you'll see um, some proper European units have a shield of five and it looks like it's actually made of some decent material. Nonetheless, nonetheless, I think we'll be absolutely fine as we are. Grab all of our missiles. A few more archers need to work their way to the top of the hill. Oh, yeah, so they, uh, they want to do this now, don't they? They want to get on with the battle. So let's start piling in. Start piling in. We'll just pick our positions. My good sir, you can head into the general. That is what I want to see. You can worry around that flank. We'll just uh, start turning our attention to all of these lads. That's what we want to see. Yeah, and you get yourselves around there. Good, 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 good. We, um, we have plenty to do with these lads. Let's get on top of those spear throwers. Hit that general in the rear. And yeah, I'll tell you what, you guys can at least push off some of these chaps. That will do the job that you need to do. We'll go off guard. Hopefully the battle will soon be won. It's a lovely starlit night here. The moon, a bit pixely, but it's a nice idea anyway. It's not too terrible for 2006, I suppose. Anyhow, let's uh, charge these guys down. Even the native warriors are doing a decent job. What absolute mad world this truly, truly is. And uh, none of our generals have died yet. Their general's still fighting. Good old hero, that lad. But no, he'll go down soon enough. Our archers will see to that. We actually have some hornet throwers with us again, by the way. Long time since we've used those. I've pretty much banned them from all armies since the early days where I couldn't see a single thing that was going on in the battle. Looks like the general's running away. And no, 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 no. He's going to run from the most basic pathetic archers. Uh, archers? Most pathetic warriors. Oh, this prince does not even want to fight, does he? Down he goes. Marvellous stuff. It looks like actually he was actually a bit of a darn hero and the rest of his men all ran away. Perhaps that doesn't speak too well of him. That his men could not be bothered to fight for him. Anyway, you guys continue to get on top of them. You guys, well... Yeah, just turn around and deal with them. But I think at this point, the battle is quite clearly won. Only a few men remain then. And with the prince dead, hopefully, that will lead us with a pretty open path to the Aztec city down here in the south. It was, um, I don't think it was that long ago we actually lost this. And, ooh, it has itself quite a lot of men. Okay. That's interesting. Um, that could be problematic, actually. That could be a little bit of an issue. Tell you what, is it worth hanging around outside? It might be. There's still another lad poking his nose around. He can actually almost reach the town I've just vacated. That was uh, perhaps a little bit ill advised. Yes. Now, if I get a better view of what's in this city, I'd be happier. Okay. An advantage spearman, not the strongest army in the world. If I take on these lads outside, he might just be able to do it. Okay, maybe actually, yeah. Let's uh, let's do a night attack. I'll take these guys out first, and then we'll proceed to city. A simple enough job then to clear off the first army and a few men lost. Not an awful lot to worry about. Whether the army inside the town, we'll just siege them out. If they want to attack us from behind, I'm quite happy for them to give us a little poke. Now, I did entirely kill the army. They did manage to run off, so they're now floating somewhere in between the two towns, which could be problematic, but um. With any luck, it will prove to not matter at all. So, where are we then at this point, ladies and gents? Okay, let's just try and recap where we are. Because I feel like we are absolutely barnstorming our way through some of these cities at this point. I don't like how empty this is, although I'm pretty certain this is entirely empty land. It's just a weird, quiet bit of the map. Yes, yeah, so uh, Tixler down here in the south is slowly getting whittled down. But there's been about three full stacks already we've had to take on. There's still one and a half or so left in the city over here. We have a brand new prince uh, down in the south down here. Manic is working his way through all of the nonsense. Hopefully over to Tutapec in a good time. 
Uh, Diazelamis is working his way up towards Mictlan, and with any luck, uh, Francisco Corando is going to move on to these central cities. But we do need to try and take up these two first, which hopefully we haven't really done that. We'll have ourselves a bit of a clearer path. So let's finish off today then with the taking of Tenochtitlan, which I think uh, should, I think, luck, be a simple enough affair. We have ourselves four experience in the town. He's got Brave. Um, can tell a tale. I can't remember. That's just law. Okay. And nothing too dramatic. If you reinforce it from outside, you could be a slight issue. You might want to pick those off. Where exactly are you guys? You're to my left. All right, we'll pick them off before they enter the city. Let it in. As you might well imagine, we can immediately take out the reinforcements here today. They are slightly down the little hill here. Don't know why they just didn't take the road. The road does seem to be in a much nicer position. So we're going to charge into them with our various generals and the conquistadors will do their filthy work as well. So with that charge, we should hopefully just instantly demolish the entire force. Thank you, my silver surfers. Once again, you prove yourself to be great damn heroes. Um, I suspect this will be done fairly quickly. Let's just make sure everything isn't burning down over. Why? What? Oh. Oh, you got caught up in that old nonsense. Okay. <laughs> Looks like the ram isn't going to be doing anything useful anytime soon. But everything else is pretty darn good. So what we're going to do is going to pull these infantry out of here. Let the cavalry finish this all off. Because quite honestly, I think they can do the job that we need it to. So you guys smash into them, finish them off. We will need these guys a little bit fresher just to make sure we can take the walls without too many issues. Hit all of these lads, they're not very happy. Um, mostly broken, 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 and just this unit left will hit them from every angle. Go on top of them lads, finish them off, and we can focus on the main city herself, which at last, last the ram, which already had people killed the first time, can now try and make its way over here. Right, how are we doing on this particular occasion, by the way? They've got some of the Flux Cannon and Warriors. I think they're a similar kind of level, 8 to 10. We're a bit stronger than that, yes. 12, 10, or 12, 12. I don't even know. I didn't even count the numbers. Anyway, those archers will go down over here. We've got ourselves in position, and we'll uh, start to get a bit of a pincer movement on, because these guys, oh yeah, that's what we don't want to see at all. That's why we've got archers. That's why we've got archers to come over here, get up on the walls, and hopefully start shooting into their rear. So that is very much the plan over in this part of the world. Those lads get into position and just run. That should very much deal with the front gate. Can we? Oh, these eager warriors are... <laughs> okay, I, I, I've i somehow done a terrible job. Or oh, not somehow, but I've clearly done a terrible job of keeping my two troops separate throughout this, haven't I? Okay, okay, okay. I see how it is, lads. I see how it is. They seem very, very confused. Our ram is... Is it doing anything? They seem to be semi-distracted, but I'm not sure completely distracted. Either way, I'm not sure they're currently heading through the gate anytime soon. So we should be able to pick them off with a charge or two. And that's them all cleared out. I should probably, though, start sending some reinforcements up onto the walls. So you guys head over here, dog soldiers, you just climb up there as well. I'm not too worried about using you in melee. They're perfectly acceptable. You lads head up there as well and the archers will help with this situation because this one is the one I'm slightly more concerned about and the one that could go very wrong indeed. You guys go on to guard, although you don't have shields, it's not really the best unit to be guarding. Ah, oh, there we go, we've let them back into their city we kind of weren't supposed to do that thomas that's kind of exactly what you weren't supposed to do but we'll chop them down anyway because they are broken at the very least fine that should start to panic them if nothing else can we get some conquistadors into the town that's probably quite a good idea actually because these gates don't pour any oil or anything like that so might as well run in and see what we can do now these chaps over here are well they're pretty well beaten but they've done a pretty hefty job Attacking two units, I think, or at least at least the one in front of them. And the Arab boys have come to reinforce them. So we're pretty much where we want to be at this point. Okay. Send these lads into the city. Uh, we'll just keep the... Yeah, just keep the cav. Keep the cav running on. Thank you very much. 
Don't need to worry about any of these lads. And more conquistadors running through the city. Just these lads are very, very confused. At long last, the archers have done their job. They've cleared off that little unit down there. And the second unit, Chugger Warriors, will finally go down. With that, the gates should be pretty much ours. Yeah, just an odd little straggler on the wall. The wall captain's guard up here. Oh my, I should probably get some good units up here to deal with him. Indeed, we probably don't quite have the position for that. No, we don't. That's a bit of a shame. So we can probably get some archers down here. They can shoot up. That might actually be a little bit of a better plan. So we'll do that for the time being. Maybe just send the two generals up there to finish him off. There goes the general and some very, very strange wall graphics as well. But we might as well send the conquistadors to charge to the plaza because at this point, well, we don't really need to lose any more men. And we might as well not lose everyone dying to this general here. Although we do need to grab the tower, so I guess, I guess we'll be chunking them down for just a little bit longer. Yes, a glorious victory for us here today. Then Tenochtitlan falls and with it with it the old Aztec capital which of course that wasn't the Aztecs we're just taking on but it is now our city how ruddy glorious so 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 that's a big victory for us a big pile of money and a nice little trade increase for our generals over there as you can see yeah even those Spanish generals do indeed look like uh, the native bodyguards when we're in battle which makes it all the more confusing that we seem to convince the Spanish that we are indeed still the Spanish but hey ho uh, over in this part of the world we don't even pretend to be Spain anymore um yes we're gonna get ourselves 10,000 florins if we take uh Tecohan, which is over here which um I'm not sure we're taking then well you might take it within the next nine turns but it does feel like it's one of the later settlements I'm likely to go and grab probably because Yes, until we've got uh, Michelin over here under siege, I don't think they're going to have... Well, this I might get distracted by that anyway. I think that's where I'm going with it. Anyhow, in the in the in-between, between these battles and things, I have had a little look-see at when England turned up. It is between 40 and 50. So 50 in my head was at least based on something, but I've just got a little bit unlucky, I suppose, they turned up here. Or at least they've been sighted at turn 41. It's normally easy at two or three turns they take to actually arrive after that warning message suffice to say though i do need to get all of my men in this part of the world uh very much very much prepared so i think at this part of the world i will just start spamming units that's the pirate ship damn it <laughs> why is this pirate ship not got a thing when the pirate ship over here does at least it did before yeah it's very strange indeed i thought i had done that indeed Indeed, I clearly have done that, but um, alas, not. Alas, not. Right, well, the French are just continuing to bumble around. I'm quite happy to hold off the French and the English for the time being. Um, and hopefully we can sort of have that as the end of the campaign. In the meantime, we do need to finish off some of these lads around the map. And that probably suggests that this is a battle that we need to get on with. So, so, so. Um, I'd very much like to head into this lad and finish him off. Let's get a good look at what it is. Oh my, lots of experience here. Lot, well, a few units with a lot of experience, but there's no general. There's no general. This is going to be a bloody, bloody affair and one that we will need the reinforcements to support us properly, though, I suspect. So be careful. I really should have merged this before it began. But if you do um, decide to withdraw from the battle at this point, you I think there's a 100% chance that you'll gain um, the... I can't remember what it is. Not indifferent attacker. Uh, indecisive attacker's traits so I probably can't get that now I've probably gone to the no turning back point in terms of being quite an aggressive attacker by this point but um, just be wary of that particularly if it's a fresh new general we're going to head in then this is probably the best way to finish off for the day leave us pretty much on the brink of crushing the central powers here in the Americas let's head in and let's clear them out I was going to hold back, but, 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 it's probably very, very important for me to hold this piece of high ground here. It's definitely the best position I think I could take up, uh, unless, of course, I went up towards the forest in the corner, but I would prefer it to be slightly more open. It gives me a good opportunity to use my cavalry, which, of course, is going to be absolutely key before the reinforcements turn up, and especially if I'm not going to hang around for the reinforcements. So we'll go and create our conquistadors. We'll head them over in this direction. 
a couple of my Zekatakas Raiders, just the small units that are a bit battered. I put them on the flank. They're obviously hiding out of the way, so they'll be able to do something. Just a touch of flanking. Obviously, they are quite battered, but we'll still be able to do something pretty effective with them with any luck. So we are going to head in and I think just smash a unit or two at this point. Just hit the flank of them before they get too far into battle. Nice early poke. There is a tree in the way, but it should still... Yeah, we'll still do a pretty good job of hitting them. That last charge there was completely useless, but it's fine. We'll keep them distracted and it might just um, yeah, break up their charge a little bit. No, 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 lads. You really, really, really need to do what I'm telling you here today and pull out. Thank you very much. Now, as they charge up the hill, that should knacker them ever so slightly. But we are, of course, going to charge on in as they arrive. You lads, get yourselves into position back here. And we need a bit of a charge. You need to charge. Yes, we, of course, we've got the Apache and Braves here. Are oh, very, very good at the old... Uh, yeah, at the old throwing javelin business, but we just don't have infantry. I do this army of these Zacatecas Raiders would be maybe like the extra units in an army rather than kind of the front line, but that's kind of what they've turned out to be a lot of the time here. You charge into them, you get yourself all the way back there, and you just hit those lads who are in the rear. Maybe these Jaguars back in that position right about there. Now, I do need all of my infantry, including these guys. Now we've done the charge just to hold position that's very much what they need to do these guys are just going to get a little bit of a flanking that's marvelous our leader has fallen that quickly my days suki that is absolutely useless um that's unfortunate it was very very early on indeed he has only lost a few men at this point so that is not what we needed to see now our conquistadors are doing some good work but they've got themselves a little bit stuck at the back of the field here at least couple of the units have so these you need to pull out these guys need to pull out and likewise get around the flank somewhere but they are they're just not quick enough some of these units are super super quick um, for infantry aren't they and it is causing me a few issues you guys head into them into their flank you head into their flank and where is the other unit there it is right they're all don't get distracted that should be a good charge we're charging uphill into their flank which is a slight issue but it should be well something's better than nothing i suppose if my reinforcements like to rush in i have put them on aggressive stance so they really should be flying into battle to come and help us right about now you lads into that flank that would be absolutely perfect and you just hit these lads with all you've got can we please yeah they lie slain that's good for us but i'm going to put you on to yeah, just send some of these dog warriors in. You head into there, and you head into there. Dog warriors are okay in hand-to-hand. -hand. No shield, but they'll certainly do better than nothing, I suppose. And Kishidor's continuing to do some good work in the flanks. These guys down to 10, which isn't perfect, but I suppose they're doing what they're supposed to do, which is smashing up the enemy armies, and they've done a lot of that work already. You guys into those archers. Just clear them off. That should be a bit of a morale... Uh, debuff for them although that's probably the better morale debuff you guys you're a small unit you can go and finish them off you into there okay we are it looks like we might potentially just do this just without the reinforcements but with the general dead i'm a little bit sad um because he was a good general damn it he was a good general but alas uh, maybe he should have been an indecisive attacker as it turns out perhaps that would have been the way to survive but then then the brave are not those who survive, are they? The brave are those who fall. And to be honest, the brave are often treading a fine line between stupidity and bravery. Anyhow, let's get these guys out of battle because those are exhausted and they are very much getting themselves murdered at this point. Your job at this stage is probably best reserved to chasing down the fleers. So yeah, maybe get on top of those lads over there. At this point, it is a bit of a bloodbath. Both both armies losing almost everything by the looks of it. Um, these guys onto fire arrows, please. Shoot over the top into those lads. Dog soldiers to start moving forward. Anyone who's regrouped, just please just throw your bodies back into the death zone. Uh, these lads are over here. Charge back down the hill. 
These lads are over in this position. Hit those Jungle Warriors or this pile over here. Something like that. Anyway, just do something. Do something, anything. Charge. Dun, 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 dun. And that should, you'd hope, do the job we need to just about squeeze victory out of this almost disgrace. It isn't really disgrace. But, uh, <laughs> oof. We've lost an awful lot of the troops to win this victory here. But they were experienced. They were experienced with some good... Good quality troops, better than ours. Especially when you're using the Apache troops. I like the Apache and Braves quite a lot. The Zacatecas Raiders are pretty good. Uh, I think they're Chichimec troops, aren't they? They're pretty good, but they, um, as I say, should be the core. Oh, now you're running! You're darned. <laughs> uh, too late. Oh, well, at least we've got ourselves a fresh army to replace the current one. Um, let's get the cav charging them down. There's no need to let any of these lads get away today. We only actually lost 400 of a thousand men, but between the general and the fact that all these archers are alive, it looks an awful lot worse than it actually is. However, however, they have 28 men remaining, which honestly is not very much at all. But we did lose the general, which is very, very sad indeed. We've lost pretty much all of the infantry in this army. And we have very much lost a unit of conquistadors, but they certainly, certainly won us the battle here today. So that is their job done. That's what they're there for, to take out their armies in the field. So well done, lads. On to the next battle. And there we go. It is La Noche Triste for the people of Tenochtitlan and, well, the rest of the people of the Flax Kalin on this day. Because we've very much beaten back their strongest armies. We have taken the old Aztec capital and whilst they've done better than normally on this campaign, they've uh, forced their way out of their little corner here that they start in. Unfortunately for them, they've run in to the anarchy. Suki of Kehatin has sadly fallen, but at this point we have a huge amount of other generals to get on with life. Was he... He might well have been the second of those Apache. I threw the first one away last time, didn't I? And uh, this time he has fallen. But they've done their job, damn it. They broke the backs of many an enemy and they will be remembered fondly but I think Manic might turn out to be the true hero here's Manic over here yes the old mind chat might well turn out to be the Julianus Fatinius or indeed indeed the hero of this campaign right well where are we leaving it for next time I think next time we might have to meet the English which is a little bit unfortunate and maybe an episode ahead of where I was thinking as I say, between 40 and 50, we seem to have hit them quite early on. The French are still wondering. It looked like they were going for Alabama, but um, Alabama, Alabama, whatever. And uh, alas, they have not bothered. So I'd rather you built this the other side of the river, lads, but okay, whatever. As I said, we have plenty, plenty of troops around this part of the world to defend the borders. And they won't be crossing that line, that is for sure. Reinforcements are still plodding round. I might as well just send the odd unit here or there. Plenty of men. You seem to have got lost. You can head over here as well. Plenty of men are heading in all sorts of directions. Constant streams of troops. They're not lost. They're all just actually on uh, auto move in that direction. We'll send some of you up here. Why not? Go on a little holiday. So, 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 so next time, we need to go and take out this southern Aztec town. It might be a case of sieging it out um, unless they attack us, of course. We're a little bit short in terms of the infantry to do that job, but they are lots of generals, so hopefully they'll be strong enough to take care of that business. Of course, we are going to have the reinforce down here for the English, and, well, you know what? We have plenty of options when it comes to training new troops down here. Plenty of these towns have a good selection of strong forces. Probably, though, should prioritise some infantry because, you know what, we normally do have a few archers around. And yes, the odd Jaguars are pretty much going to be the core of our armies going forward. Over in the south then, we do, of course, do have Manic over there to take on one of the Aztec towns. We have the Azelmis taking on the other southern town. And in the west, we have all these armies just chaotically smashing their head against the brick wall. Which is the strangely, strongly defended town of Tixled down here in the south. We're working our way toward Hoxtepec and indeed down to the three central cities that may finally, finally be defeated. Yes, those are those reinforcements that never really showed up. We've lost a big chunk of our core army there today. We're running out of infantry. So it's a good thing 
<laughs> there's yet more arriving so if we give it a turn or two we'll have the reinforcements on their way don't you worry they are soon going to arrive and i don't think there's much they can do to stop us at this point the train just keeps on rumbling on so i hope you will join me for that but for now i'll leave you i'm thomas this is tenosis human and this has been our medieval 2 american rebels campaign thank you and bye bye they're all queuing up to fight them. These are truly the British rebels right here. War cry and charge at the dogs of... What are they routing again? <laughs> what are you doing, my silly trumpets? They're actually taking on my reinforcements. <laughs> Welcome to the Rebel Experience, ladies and gents.